Hey, it's Quentin, your piano sensei. Today I'm going to demystify the staff. So if you know the treble clef and the bass clef, you might have seen this before. And then maybe you've wondered, why are the notes different? Like maybe you memorized E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. But the bass clef is, is, is G, B, D, F, A. Good boys do fine always or great big dogs fight ants, or George Bush doesn't, well, whatever, okay? And is it, well, why can't they be the same letters? This is confusing. I don't want to have to look, memorize two different ones. Well, it's because of this. Really, you have to imagine that there's a line here. And so if we cover this up, Okay, and then we have a bunch of notes. Um, it's really hard to have a reference point with this many lines. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so instead of having all the all that, we just get rid of the a line here so that we can visually separate, have some kind of reference point. Okay, it's easier to have five lines and a space and five lines rather than 11 lines. That's all, okay? So you have to imagine there's a line here and that's middle C. Okay, so a, a line right there, a note on that line right there is middle C, which on the piano is the C that's closest to the middle of the piano. You can't see the whole thing here, but... So what we do is we just don't have the line going all the way through all of the music we just put the line right there and that's called a ledger line so that's middle c so then if you know your alphabet a b c d e f g and then for music that's all there is there's no h i j k l m r p so we have a b c d e f G, like that, and it would continue. So here's another A, B for infinity, and then this way it would continue G, F, E. So there you can see it's based on the middle C and then going up and down from there. So that's why C, D, E, this is an E on the first line. Well, obviously down here, that's not going to be an E because we're not copying this one to this one. We're going out from here. So we have C, and I'm just going to do skips. So C, E, G, B, D, F. But then going this way, we have to go reverse in the alphabet. So that's A. That's F, that's D, that's B, that's G. Okay, I'm doing skips, so I'm skipping um, every other letter. So right, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, etc. So now you can see that this line, the first line here, is an E, and the first line down here is a G, because that's just how it is. It's because we're going from middle C and going in order C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. Okay, and those are the spaces, like you might have memorized. The spaces are face in the treble clef. And in the bass clef, it's all cows eat grass. Except some of them eat corn. All right, so that's why they're a different set. E, G, B, D, F, F, A, C, E. The bass clef is G, B, D, F, A, A, C, E, G. They're different because they're not a copy of each other. They're just going from middle C and apart that way. Because you have to imagine this is just a line and it's a continuous set of lines and spaces. I hope that's clear and that makes sense and it demystifies some of the staff for you. Be sure to like,
comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.